Good happy Sunday morning, December 20, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Sunday morning, so let's begin. First up, we begin with COVID-19 updates. New Hampshire reports 12 new COVID-19 deaths, 676 new cases. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. You should never judge a book by its cover or a gift by its gift box because sometimes you'll pick up a gift that feels like another pair of socks from Uncle Bill there are 12 new deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire tonight. Nine are associated with long-term care facilities. There are 676 new positive tests to report. The total number of cases is now more than 35,000. And there are 258 people in the hospital. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. New Hampshire COVID information, new updates and data. Let's take a look at that right now. And here is a look at that information for all of you right now. There are 35,609 number of people in New Hampshire have tested positive for COVID-19. 17,632,057 number of people in the United States have tested positive. 650 number of deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 886 number of people have been hospitalized with COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 316022 number of deaths from COVID-19 in the United States. And now let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where current cases of COVID-19 are. In Manchester, 767. And let's take a look at this map of New Hampshire where total cases of COVID-19 are. Manchester, 5726. Now let's take a look at these three charts here. Let's start with the first chart here. New cases each day. New Hampshire in the purple. Daily new positive COVID-19 cases. Orange, new hospitalization and red deaths. Let's take a look at this chart here. Current cases in the purple. Total current COVID-19 cases. And orange, current hospitalization. Let's take a look at this chart here. Total cases in the purple, total positive COVID-19 cases, orange, total hospitalization, red deaths, and blue recovered. Let's take a look at this chart here. Positive PCR test rate, positive PCR and antigen test rate, and daily PCR test. Let's take a look at this chart here. Age group of cases and female and male of cases. Let's take a look at this chart here. Infections hospitalizations, and deaths. And let's take a look at this chart here. Deaths, percent of New Hampshire population, race slash ethnicity of cases, and hospitalizations. And a reminder, your common symptoms. Fever, lack of smell, cough, chills, difficult breathing, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. How it spreads, and prevention tips. And be sure to stay with the Riley King Network for the latest of your COVID-19 information. New Hampshire to receive more than 24,000 doses of Moderna vaccine this upcoming week. New Hampshire is expected to receive more than 24,000 doses of Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine next week. The vaccine received emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration on Friday night. Distribution is set to begin Monday. A spokesman for the state's Department of Health and Human Services said New Hampshire will receive 24,200 doses in several batches during this week. Moderna's vaccine will be the second to be distributed. Pfizer began delivering its vaccine across the United States this past week. New Hampshire has received about 12,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine and is set to receive an additional 9,000 next week. 
frontline healthcare workers at hospitals in the state were among the first to get shots. The vaccinations are set to begin at long-term care facilities next week. Lunds, the biologist in Portsmouth, has been manufacturing an active ingredient in Moderna's vaccine. As you know, it's the final week. Christmas is this coming week on Friday at the end of the week, so it'll be the final couple of days of Christmas shopping for many for last minute gifts and things. Businesses see a steady sales during the holiday shopping season. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Tim Callery. Here at Gunstock Mount Resort, we are excited to share a healthy and fun 2021 season with you. Know before you go and visit gunstock.com to buy tickets and for the latest info. We can't wait to create memories with you and yours all winter long. The Mall of New Hampshire in Manchester was a busy spot on Saturday. The parking lot packed with cars as shoppers checked everything off their Christmas list. It appears the last Saturday before the holiday is living up to its reputation as businesses report strong sales despite the pandemic. We've been lucky enough to be on the more positive note. Benjamin Paisley is the general manager of the bookery located in downtown Manchester. He says the shop had a constant flow of customers on Saturday as well as throughout the holiday shopping season. We've seen steady numbers since Small Business Saturday. Paisley says the bookery relied on social media to attract customers. Let them know that in order for us to stay here, we need our, our local support. We need everyone to come out and help support, even though these are hard times. Uh, and our community helped us out. They showed out and they showed up and we're still here and I think we're going to be here next year. It was a similar situation at the Handcrafters Barn in North Conway. We didn't know really what to expect. Owner Lisa Horgan says despite a dip in sales in November, the summer and early fall were strong. But now December is here and we are, I think, a little bit up for, for the month of December. So in a pandemic with the virus rearing its ugly head, we are um, pretty pleased that we're holding our own. Horgan says she hopes this continues into winter, but what's to come is unknown. We're just going to get through it as best as we can. And so if you're uncomfortable shopping in public, businesses say the best way to support them is through online shopping, curbside pickup, or even buying a gift card. Reporting in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Police say recent crash shows drivers must clear ice, snow from vehicles. Let's take a listen to that video from the Riley King Network. Drivers must clear ice, snow from vehicles. Victim might not fully regain vision, police say. Londonderry police are emphasizing the importance of clearing snow and ice off vehicles before driving after a 22-year-old man was seriously injured last week when ice crashed into his windshield. The driver of the box truck is facing charges and Londonderry police said there's a chance the victim might not fully regain his vision. It's impressive that all of us realize that something as simple as not brushing off snow on top of your vehicle could literally take someone else's life, police captain of the Londonderry Police Department said at a news conference on Friday. 
Police said that on December 9th, snow and ice dislodged from a box truck driven on Route 102 by Richard Letier, 60 of Derry, and hit a Honda Accord driven by Michael Cornbury, 22. Michael sustained serious and significant injuries to his face and in fact had glass embedded in both of his eyes and underwent multiple surgeries since that time, the London Day police captain said. I really am surprised that he survived. There was that much damage. The vehicle was traveling in the opposite direction in a 55 mile per hour zone. Just picture the velocity with which a chunk of ice and snow went through that car, Londonderry police captain said. It's totally filled the inside of his Honda Accord with ice and snow. Police said Letier cooperated with the investigation. He faces up to two years in jail and 5000 in fines if convicted. Peterborough Police Chief was the responding officer to a 1999 crash that killed Jessica Smith, prompting the adoption of Jessica's law which requires drivers to remove snow and ice before driving on a public way. What frustrates us the most, I think, speaking for a law enforcement, is these vehicles that are driving around three and four days after a storm with six inches of snow and ice on the roof, the Peterborough Police Chief. Said. Londonderry police said Cornery couldn't attend the news conference. He released a statement saying, Please take two minutes to brush off your car or truck. It could literally save a life, and it almost took mine. And that is it for this news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this news report on the Riley King Network. I'm Riley King, reporting for the Riley King Network. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. So remember to clean that snow and ice off your vehicle, everyone. Body found inside car at Concord Towing Business. Police are investigating an incident involving a missing woman who was found dead in a parking in a car parked in a lot on Channel Drive business. Take a look at this photo from the scene. A body was found in a car of a business on Channel Drive around 1 a.m. on December 19th. Police were seen searching the car as a well as the truck trunk for any evidence. A woman was reported missing Friday, was found later dead inside of a vehicle that was towed to the Concord Heights business. Limited details are available at post time, but around 7.30 p.m., a woman from the North End was reported missing by a family member. The family member said they had not seen or heard from her since 9 a.m. Police met with the family members and attempted to contact an employer who said she was not scheduled to work on Friday, but did work the day before. They also checked Concord Hospital to see if she was there, but she was not. During the investigation, police learned that two cars connected to the household were towed from the street 
to above all collision on Chanel Drive at around 3 p.m. According to dispatch, a representative of the company did not recall towing cars from the street in question, but admitted the company had done a lot of towing Friday. Around 9 p.m., dispatch was told both vehicles were at above all and officers headed over to the business. They requested dispatch call a cell phone number and later while inspecting the vehicle found a woman's body inside one of the cars. I'll see if she is responsive, the officer told dispatch. Later the officer added, I think this is going to be a cold gray. Just before 9.30 p.m., Concord Fire and Rescue Teams were sent to above all to check on the body and later cleared the area. After that, family members were contacted. Police were at the cars investigating the incident for at least four hours. Lieutenant Robert Bolt a watch commander for the Concord Police Department said the incident was still an open investigation so he could not comment on the case. However, police did not believe there is danger to the public, he said. First Congressional Church to Serve as Emergency Winter Shelter Volunteers with the Concord Coalition to end homelessness were hard at work Friday moving bunk beds and bedding and air filters into the back offices of First Congressional Church of Concord. The church building is the new venue for the organization's emergency winter shelter, which will serve as a safe space for people who are unhoused on cold nights. And that does it for this morning edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.